In this video, we will be looking at BMI and growth charts for grade 11 and grade 12 mathematical literacy. So first off, you might be wondering what is BMI? What does it stand for? And this could be a test question. So body mass index, remember that. And basically, if you find the answer, if you find your BMI score, you could see that you um, fall in one of these categories. You could be obese, overweight, etc. Now, sometimes they ask a question, especially about this last one. What if you fall in this category? What can you do? Well, seek medical advice. So here you would go to a doctor and formulate a plan, a treatment plan. Same for underweight. Could be a problem here. So seek medical advice. And these are typical higher order questions that you can see in tests. Okay, let's do an example. So here I have BMI and we actually have a formula. So it would be the weight of the person divided by the height of the person. And this formula will determine your BMI. And the height also needs to be squared at the bottom. So you have kg, kilogram at the top, divided by meters at the bottom and squared. And this is important. It must be in these units, kilograms at the top, meters at the bottom. So if not, you need to convert. Okay, and the answer that you get, the units are in kilograms per meters squared. So let's look at a little example. Here I have mini, little mini me. Mini-me is not so little, okay? She weighs 75 kilograms and she is 153 centimeters short or tall. <laughs> now the first question here, and you got to notice the difference in the questions, okay? Determine her BMI or calculate her BMI, same thing. And the second question here would then be, what is her weight status? What is her weight status or in which category does she fall? So, for the first question, we use the formula. Determine a BMI, we use the formula. And for the second question, we use the table. Because you want to see which one of these, where does she fit in? Cool. So, let's go. For the first one, if I use the formula for BMI, um, we have her weight, which is 75 kg. And then at the bottom, we need the meters, we need her height. But her height was given to us in centimeters, so I need to convert that first to meters. And I do that by dividing it by 100. So 153 centimeters divided by 100 gives you 1.53. Then I square that answer and I finally get a value of well rounded off value of 32 that's a BMI score and the units are kilograms per meter squared so in which category does she fall if she's got a value of 32 a score of 32 is more than 30 so unfortunately mini is obese and I'm going to say here okay mini is obese that's her weight status what can she do she can go see a doctor. That's just an extra question they could ask. Okay, now we move on to growth charts. Now growth charts are specifically for, uh, it would either be boys or girls, or they would specify whether it's both on one graph. And here at the bottom, we have your ages. So maybe it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, etc. And then here on the side, we would have your BMI, okay? So also starting at zero, maybe something like two, four, six, eight, ten, etc. And then we have percentiles. Since this is a percentile curve, right? Percentiles, you remember, are like percentages. It's a value out of 100. So maybe I have the percentile here that starts at six and it goes all the way down. And I call it maybe the fifth percentile. 
then I draw another one and I say, okay, this next one is the 25th percentile, for example. And I'll continue for quite a few of these because at the end of the day, these are scores out of 100, right? So you could fall somewhere on one of these percentiles. And the way you would find it is by looking at your three variables. You're dealing with the BMI, right? You're also dealing with the ages. And then finally, you're also dealing with the percentiles. So let's say I have an 8 BMI score. I have an age of 4. Then I would draw my line like that and see, wow, they intersect on the 25th percentile. So basically, I'm looking at where these three variables intersect, where they get together and touch each other. Cool. So that was just the intro. This is what an actual growth chart looks like. And in our example, um, we are going to look specifically at boys. And the ages here, you can see it's like 1 to 12 years or 13 years. And we have many, many percentile curves here. The 5th, 10th, etc., 95th. And we have the BMI values on the side. So let's look at an example, right? Let's get a question going here. Maybe we have a question that says, what does it mean if your BMI score lies on the 10th percentile? And this could be any number here. We could have any percentile. Now, if you are on the 10th percentile, let's get the green guy going. You are on this green line somewhere. Since it's a percentage, it means that 10% of the other boys between this age, right? 10% are at the bottom. 10% of the rest of the boys this age have a BMI score that's lower than yours because you can see the BMI is lower here. But it also means that the 90%, the rest of the boys, that is this age, have a BMI score that is obviously higher than yours because they will fall in these other on these other percentiles. So you're kind of in the lower category here and that means you would be underweight. Ideally, maybe where you would want to be is on the 50th percentile because then you smack in the middle so you would have an average or normal weight, for example. So how are we going to put this into words, right? This 10 and 90 must together give you 100%. Doesn't matter on which line you fall, there will be a part at the bottom and a part at the top. So if you want to put this into words, you will say, okay, start off with the BMI of 10% of boys in this age category that we're looking at are less, so the BMI is less, or less than this specific person that we're looking at, or less than this person's. And then you would do the other one, so you would do the lower percentages, which is 10, and then the higher one. In our case, it's 90. So the same story, the BMI of 90% of boys in this age category are higher than this person's. So you falling into a very small category of people with this age and this BMI. Okay, so this is a typical type of question and you would just replace that 10th percentile, that red, with any other percentile that they give you. And the answer would be in the same format. Cool. Now let's look at the last three questions. So these are typical questions related to the growth chart. It's just examples, practice questions. Let's go. So determine the BMI of a, this is the question, right? I want the BMI of a five-year-old boy on the 75th percentile. BMI of a five-year-old and 75th percentile. So let's get a line going here. Okay, the BMI of a five-year-old boy, so I find the five, I go up, 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 and it should be on the 75th percentile. So that's the, the 75th percentile, here's the yellow line. And I am actually looking for the BMI score. Okay, so let's get right there. I must get a line now. I'm looking for the BMI score. If I take it all the way there, you can see this guy is counting in 0 0.2, 0 0.4, so there exactly there would be. 15 comma 8 because I'm counting in 2, 4, 6. Okay, so that's the answer. That's where these lines intersect at that exact point. My answer would be one simple answer of 
let's get it 15.8. That's the BMI. Next question, determine the age. So here is my question. I'm looking for age. The BMI score is 18.2. And this guy's on the 95th percentile. So remember, I'm looking for age, 18.2, and the 95th percentile. 18.2 is there. And this guy is on the 95th percentile. So let me get a straight line going there. The 95th percentile is this guy right here. So if I see where this intersects, I check the line, I see, well, the age here at the bottom is four years old. So this would be a four-year-old boy. Right. Final guy here in which percentile. So now the question is, I need to find the percentile line. Will a 10-year-old with a BMI score 15 fall? So we're looking for a 10-year-old and a 15 BMI score. So let's get our lines going. I have a 10-year-old wrist right here. And I have a 15 BMI score. Use your ruler in the exam and the test right there. On which percentile does this guy fall? And you would see this is the green line. So it's the 10th percentile. Okay. So we're just going to write there. This boy falls in the 10th percentile. Right. That's the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.